Okay, so we've got some more stuff on the pattern editor here in the next part of the tutorial. So Shift and F3, it deletes the whole pattern. Now I don't actually have to have anything selected. If I just press Shift and F3, it's going to delete that specific track, all the information in it. So let's paste it in here again, Shift and F3. Alternatively, you can select the track with Alt T and then you could cut it with Command and X. So you've got two options really for deleting notes in a track. You can either just Shift and F3 or Alt T and Command X. They're both about as quick as each other, so it just depends which ones you prefer. So another thing where you've got a couple of options is when you want to delete note information in one line. Say I want to just delete this note, I can obviously press delete, but if I have information in here, if I press delete, it's just going to delete the note information. So you can either press shift and right arrow and then you're going to select this whole line. So press shift and left or right actually and then you can cut it with command X. So you can cut the lines or you can press alt and delete. So if I go alt and delete, alt and delete will cut the whole line within that track. And just delete will just delete that one specific bit of information. There's another really, really, really good one, which lots of you will know about, which is the interpolate option. So if I have, I've got this this note with 10 volume and this one with 80. Now, if I want to create a volume fade between them and have the, the level of volume rise between these notes, if I press Command L or Command I, they're basically two different versions of interpolating the data it's going to create a mathematical rise between the two digits so between the 8 here and the 1 it's kind of filled in all these all these points so there's lots of really handy ways you can incorporate this into your workflows but I think it's definitely worth mentioning here we've got some more we've got alt F2 to go up a semitone of the note you've got selected and then you've got alt F11 to go down an octave and Alt F12 to go up an octave. So Alt F1 and 2 for semitones, Alt 11 and F12 for up and down octaves. Okay, so this is a good one. If you press Shift and Enter, if you watch up here, Shift and Enter will actually select my currently selected note in the pattern editor will select the same instrument in my instrument selector. So say you know this can be if you're if you're quick you know using your F1 to F3 and you want to quickly f swap to the next instrument rather than f coming up here and trying to find the name of the instrument sometimes you'll have a huge list of information up here it's much easier just press shift and enter and that will take you right to the instrument that you're working on so you can be in any pattern anywhere and just instantly find the instrument that you want to change the effects for and then press F3 and go in and do sample mang mangling or put envelopes on them, whatever you're going to do. So that's a great one. Okay, so I'm just going to give you one extra kind of tip here and this is a bit more advanced but I think it's worth knowing about right from the beginning. It's Tool Browser. So in my tools, if I go into my browser, I've got this browser called Super Nudge. So there's a tool called SuperNudge and I'll link it below. But basically I've got it set up so I can use the hotkey Shift, Control, Alt and Command and I can nudge a note up and down a line or I can actually nudge it in, in increments. So I can nudge it up and down or I can just shift it and it's really handy rather than the other method which is to just come in and enter information with your keyboard to go up and down sometimes it's actually just quite nice to just be able to just shift it just select it and use your arrow keys it's kind of a bit more therapeutic than always entering like data and to just have a have a when you're trying to get a swing right to just go up one by one by one and just listen to it on repeat and try you can get the swing bang on uh, and it's just that I think it find it a little bit less jarring than always entering the data. So the super nudge tool is definitely one to look out for. And then I think you 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 download the tool and then you come into your come into your preferences and into your keys window. 
and then type in nudge and then you can assign whatever you want to nudge the lines up and down and nudge the steps up and down. So you can see what I've done here and you can kind of choose whatever you want uh, for that. So I hope this is informative and a good place to start for Renoise users. There's probably some hotkeys that I've missed out or that I, that I never knew about, but this is kind of the core of my workflow. And I think it'll be useful for lots of you to find out about these shortcuts right in the beginning. So you can start to incorporate them into your workflow and your music. So thanks for listening and catch you soon on my channel.